to convince the fuel people that it's okay to fill up a school bus with jet fuel. Whoa. No, no, you mean diesel. As Rob plays around in the skies over Abbotsford, I'd like to direct your attention to your right. You can see that great school bus, that bright orange school bus, now making its way into the air show box. It is an average yellow school bus, except this one has been fitted with the engine from a Phantom fighter jet. Okay, hold it. That's right, an F-4 Phantom fighter jet. So you were serious, Bob, when you said Jet fuel, I was. diesel fuel. I mean, normally it's a diesel. diesel engine that runs a school bus. You can this see, one. And you can see he's operational from that big puff of smoke coming out of the back end. Oh my goodness. This bus has a top speed of 367 miles per hour. No wonder the kids will be lining up to ride this thing. Talk about neck snapping acceleration for this thing. <laughs> Maybe you might want to from time to time, but of course we wouldn't. There he is coming down taxiway Charlie there. This is nicknamed the school time jet powered bus. It can shoot flames out of the back end that extend out about 75 feet and there you can see it. Talk about roasting marshmallows and hot dogs. <laughs> Paul Stender is at the controls of that school bus. As Rob Holland uh, buzzes him there and he circles around doing a bit of a donut out there. Look at all that smoke. He just <laughs> disappeared. into that bus. There's the flame again. Whoa! The smoke is lit up. There's the bus. Wow. Wow is right. He couldn't stand still and do that because he was scorching the day. <laughs> Rob Holland up there with the MX2 teasing him. Did you see how he just dove right at him? I don't know if I'd do that. I mean, that's a composite airplane, and that's a lot of flame right there coming out of the back of that school bus. Feel the thump of that 42,000 horsepower General Electric jet engine. And you heard it said before, that is the same jet engine you would find in an F-4 Phantom. Talk about fuel economy, this thing burns 150 gallons of fuel in a quarter mile run. <laughs> I, I think Rob Holland said, come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's have a race. I can get you, I can tell you. Unbelievable. I don't know, folks. Who are you going to put your bet on? Is it going to be Rob Holland in the MX2? Or is it going to be Paul Stender in the Jet School Bus? Here comes Rob again. Taunting, teasing. <laughs> this vehicle was custom built by Paul Stender himself. There's no way the original bus could have withstood the speeds that Paul takes this bus to. He said that he bought it just as an old school bus, yeah, but he has to say that only about 5% of it are original parts. That's it, only 5%? Of course, a regular school bus, you can put about 30 or 40 kids. This one only seats the jet engine takes up the rest of the school bus. Now he's going head to head with the C-17. Okay folks, I think we're going to get the school bus turned around. We've got some starter people out there just to make sure that this is kept nice and fair and square. I just want to make sure that the CASA and the C-17 are not part of this race, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, just wanted to be sure. I think the CASA and the C-17 are going to be a drag race. No, I'm okay, we got the school bus turned around. Rob's turned off his smoke. I think he's going to get his airplane turned around and then I think the race is on, folks.
Let's see who wins. Here comes Rob. The school bus is getting powered up. The smoke comes out of the school bus. Here we go, Rob rolls upside down. The race is on. It doesn't have wings. 